Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that we're packing for a week away with my family of five. And I'm also gonna share with you some great staycation tips as well. So restrictions have eased here in England, which has meant we've been able to book a little house with a hot tub that is about two hours drive from us. And we are so excited to have a change of scenery. So I'm gonna show you everything that we're packing in terms of clothes for the kids, games, food, cleaning products and first aid as well. And I'm also gonna talk about how we've booked some days out when we're there and a few other little tips and hacks along the way as well. So I hope you really enjoy this video. I would say I'm a bit of an overpacker, but that is the beauty of a staycation. Because we're just driving there, we can load up our car with absolutely everything. Um, so there is a lot in this video, but I will make sure to timestamp it. So if you wanna fast forward to the toys we're taking or the games we're taking, please feel free to do that and I hope you enjoy it please subscribe if you're new and let's get into it so before I show you the contents of our suitcase I quickly wanted to talk about food first because although a staycation can be lovely and relaxing as parents we still have to feed everyone and I like to do as much prep before we go so that once we're there we can have all that quality time together so my number one tip for planning food when you're going on a little staycation is to book a food delivery to arrive at the venue when you do. So you don't have to worry about putting food into your car. You don't have to worry that anything's gonna get warm if you get stuck in traffic. It's just such a good hack. Of course, check with the venue before you go. I did, they said that was absolutely fine. They gave me the correct postcode and everything. And one week before we go, I booked um, a time slot for our delivery. And a little hack you can do is to go on, book your time slot, and just stick a case of wine into your cart because that's normally enough money to secure your booking. I think it has to be like over 40 pounds, something like that. And then you can be adding the food into your cart in the lead up to your trip. Then my next tip when it comes to food is to write out a little meal plan for when you're away. I did it in notes and I actually just did it for breakfast each day and dinner as well because often when it comes to lunch we might be out and stop at a pub or we might be at a farm and pick up some food there. I will bring some things for sandwiches but mainly I'm more worried about what we're having for breakfast each day and dinner. So on our meal plan we're doing things like we're going to have the pizza oven one night so I need to bring the pizza oven. We also love cook meals for little breaks away because they're really delicious and it means we don't have to cook we can just stick into the oven and it's done okay so this is everything laid out that we're going to take so i think i'll start out with the kids clothes and you'll see that i have three different lines of clothes so one is for our eldest one is for our middle and one is for our youngest i just find that's the easiest way to lay it all out we're going for seven days so i've actually laid out seven outfits here then i have extra jumpers pajamas, swimwear, and socks and footwear as well. So there is actually laundry at the place that we're going, but ideally I don't wanna have to do laundry. So I have seven outfits for all of them, but worst case, if one got really dirty or whatever, I could use the laundry facilities there. Also, when it comes to the boys' outfits, they still often will match. Sometimes they match fully with matching t-shirts. Sometimes they just match in terms of color, but I like to like lay it all out so I know what I'm doing. So they have a full outfit for each day. You'll see with Jackson, he's even got his little socks on there as well. So I just do that because I find that the easiest way to do it. Then I have some jumpers. It's supposed to be nice weather, but we do live in England, so we need to bring lots of jumpers as well. Then I've got pajamas. I bring one set of pajamas for every every two to three days, so I'm really not bringing many. And then I've got all of their swimwear as well, and there's a couple of football kits because they really like to play football. And then I've got socks for each day, sliders for the boys, so they can run out to the hot tub with them on for all of the boys. And then I've also got a pair of trainers each, but they'll actually wear them going so I don't have to pack them. So I know this looks like a lot, but I love to use packing cubes. So I have a set of packing cubes for my eldest, for my middle and then for my youngest, I'm actually gonna put each of his outfits into one of these little plastic wallets so it's like super organized. I actually got these to put board games into but then I thought this might work really well when I'm packing today. So I'm gonna put 
all of this into the packing cubes and I'll show you how I do it. I should also say that I'm bringing a little hat for each boy. If it is good weather and we're out for the day, they can wear that. I've also got a set of goggles for each boy and then just one life vest. The two older boys are strong swimmers, so this is just for our youngest. I don't know how much detail to go into in terms of the boys' clothes. We get most of their clothes from Zara, H&M, and Next. So I've got an outfit for each day. I have three extra jumpers for each boy. I'm taking three sets of swimming trunks for each boy. And say for Fraser, I'm just taking two pairs of pajamas. But if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free So here are all of the boys' clothes in packing cubes. We have Fraser's in the blue, Caleb's in the black, and then all of Jackson's individual outfits for the days um, here in these baggies. And then in a smaller packing cube, we have all of his pajamas and then all of his swimwear. Something else that I love about packing cubes is that it makes the unpacking so easy. So as soon as we arrive, I'm just gonna grab these from the suitcases and stick the whole packing cubes into the drawers. Next up, I'm going to show you all of the toys and games that we're taking with us. Obviously we're going away in England, so the weather's quite changeable, but we will have some downtime as well. And we love to play games in the evening as a family. It's like a real highlight of our trips. So I'll show you all of the card games that we're bringing first. So I've got like a normal pack of cards. I've also got Snap and Fishing for Likes, which is one of our favorite games. We also love Double, so I've got a Harry Potter Double, and I also have a Beach Double that is waterproof, so they can have this outside, like near the hot tub if they want to. They can even play it in the hot tub. We also love Sushi Go. Uno is a big favorite and also Monopoly Bid. And then this is a board game that is new that you guys actually recommended to me. Um, someone said that my kids would love Genius Square, so I thought we would try it, so I'm taking that with us. Then we also have a game of bowls. This is really fun for the garden. So you basically just put this little white ball in the grass and then each child gets a color and has to roll their balls like as close as they can to the white one. Just really simple and the kids really like it. So I'm bringing that for the garden. I'm also bringing some coloring. Jackson and Caleb love to color. So I've got three different coloring books. I've got like a football one and a Pokemon one. And I've also got this um, tablecloth that I've been saving for so long, but it's a coloring tablecloth. So you put it out on the table and they can all color it. So I thought that would be quite cool. And then I've obviously got some pens and I also have these pens on a string. I've shown these so many times before, but I really like that you can't lose the caps. And this is ideal. If we go out for dinner, I can just stick this into my handbag and they can do coloring when we go to a restaurant. Then we're also bringing this very bouncy ball that they love and a pack of Lego. We have a little carrying case. So I've just filled it up with Lego and that will keep Jackson busy for quite a while in the house. Then I also got this like rainbow Jenga. This is really cool because Jackson loves to play with blocks, but then also the bigger boys can play it. And to make it harder, you also get this little die. So you can throw the dice and then you have to choose the color that it lands on. So I thought 
thought it would just make it a bit more difficult for the older boys to play as well. And it comes in this bag, so I'll pack it in that. And then I also have three Frisbees and of course a football. I said to Matt, maybe we should bring two footballs in case one goes over the fence. Um, but for the, this time being, we have just one. And that is everything that we're taking. That should definitely keep them very entertained. Then when it comes to cleaning, I will be bringing a few things with me, even though I'm hoping not to clean as much as I do at home. But I'm bringing some dishwasher tablets. Normally when we go on a staycation, they'll give you like two or three tablets, but you need to bring like the rest yourself. So I have one for each day. I'm also bringing some laundry capsules as well, just in case I want to do laundry. And I'm going to put all of these into this little baggie because it has a child lock on it. I'm also bringing a surface spray, even though they might have one there. I really like this one. I have worked with them before. So just like I'll say add here, even though this isn't an ad. I'm also bringing a few of my favorite cloths four bin bags, some washing up liquid. Again, sometimes they give you sachets of this, but I just wanna make sure I have enough. And I'm gonna take our dishmatic handle and a new head on it. And I'm even bringing some hand soap because sometimes you get like bars of soap in the toilets, but my kids and I, we really like using this liquid soap. So I'm bringing all of that. And I'm also bringing a laundry bag. We have this mesh laundry bag that we always take on holiday with us. And it's just really handy. You can put all of the dirty clothes into the this and then when you get home you know exactly what needs to be washed really quickly so that's what I'm bringing in terms of cleaning then I also wanted to show you everything that I'm bringing in terms of first aid for the kids and all of this will go into this clear makeup bag but I've laid it out just to show you guys so we have things like hay fever medication for the kids we also have three different sun creams I'm really hoping we're gonna need to use sun cream and then these two are great for my handbag if we go out for the day I've also got some saline drops for the boys if they got a blocked nose band-aids and an alcohol-free wipe. I've got paracetamol, this is for the adults, but then this one is for the kids. These are the fast melts that my older boys really like. They're so easy to take, like easier than the liquid. We've also got a three in one like wash. So this is great for their body, their hair, and it removes chlorine as well. So this is good because they'll be in and out of the hot tub. We also have a, a Savlon in case they get cut or anything. We have something for bites and stings because sometimes there's stinging nettles or bees or whatever. And we also have some nail clippers, a thermometer. This is for the hay fever medication. And then I have actually packed a one a day hay fever for Matt as well. And I've also got their vitamins and a pack of wipes. And obviously if you have little ones, you'll also want to bring nappies for your entire stay or diapers, I should say. Um, but ours is done with all that. I forgot to mention that I'm also bringing three beach towels to have next to the hot tub. And it's definitely worth checking before you go that the place you're staying at supplies towels because some have them in the bathroom. But I know places like center parks don't have towels for going to the pool or anything. So you might need them. Then I'm also bringing the two little ones favorite soft toys and their blankets that they sleep with as well look at Caleb's it's just had it but obviously they need these to sleep with each night so I've written a little list that I'm going to put on top of the contents of the suitcase of just things that we need to add on the day like blankies the koala Katie is the cat <laughs> epi pens for our eldest chargers laptop and cameras as well so it's just like a final reminder like don't forget these things and we're also bringing our portable pizza oven and the things that we need to use it because we're doing a pizza party one night and we're also taking this huge cool box this is Matt's like favorite thing but we will be putting a few things from the fridge in here like we've got a few of the ready meals already um, so we'll pack that up and put that into the car as well <laughs>
Okay, so that is all packed up. We've got all of the boys' clothes. Obviously, we've got a cooling box, pizza oven. The football wouldn't fit anywhere. And then we have all the games, cleaning products, and first aid in this one. So now I just need to pack for Matt and I, and we're gonna have one more suitcase that we're gonna share here. The only other thing I was thinking you might wanna pack is electronics, like iPads or Nintendo Switches or Xboxes, anything like that. I'm gonna take it as an opportunity for them not to have that, um, and there'll be like a TV there, like worst case and there's loads of games and stuff so we're gonna avoid that for our week and now I just need to pack for myself I'm not gonna show you that cause it's gonna be painful it's gonna take me forever and Matt will pack for himself and the only other thing I wanted to mention was we booked some days out for when we get there so I actually asked everyone on Instagram if they could recommend any days out where we're going and then I researched them and I actually booked the tickets because it's half term which is like a big like break in the UK, so I just know it's probably gonna be busy. Um, so I booked tickets for a few of the days as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you thought it was interesting. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will of course be vlogging our trip. So I'll show you all of that, <laughs> but um, I'll see you soon and thanks again. Bye guys.